Hello, my name is Diane, and today I want to talk about some of the books coming out in October that I am most looking forward to. I have six books to talk about, a mixture of fantasy and sci-fi. I'm going to, instead of just explaining them in my own words, I'm going to read the publisher synopsis. So let's just get right into it. First up, coming out on October 3rd, is the historical fantasy Shield Maidens by Sharon Emmerichs. All her life, Frida has longed to be a shield maiden, an honor reserved for Gatlin's mightiest warriors. When a childhood accident leaves her tragically injured and unfit for the battlefield, her dreams are dashed, or so she thinks. But a strange, unfathomable power is awakening within her, a power that will soon be put to the test. For when the foreign lords and chieftains descend upon Frida's home to celebrate her uncle King Beowulf's 50-year reign, she realizes not all their guests come with good intentions. Treachery is afoot, and Frida must gather her courage to fight for her people, as a queen should, as a shield maiden would, and as only Frida can. But as Frida's power grows stronger, something ancient hears its call. For buried deep in her gilded lair, a dragon awakens, and Frida must prove herself once and for all. So the story is a Beowulf reimagining, so I'm not sure how closely it's going to follow the original plot of Beowulf, but it clearly has taken some things from the original story with Beowulf being the king in this one, and Frida being his niece. So I think there may be some major plot points. Obviously the setting's going to be the one that is in Beowulf. So this sounds like it should be an interesting story with a fair amount of action, and I like that it seems to only be taking some inspiration from Beowulf rather than trying to retell it with a female character. Also coming out on October 3rd is Save as Korax Deals with the Dead by K.J. Parker. This is the first book in an epic fantasy trilogy. The second book is coming out in November and the third book is coming out in December. So if you do decide to pick this up and start a new series, there won't be much of a wait to figure out what happens next and get the sequels. There's no formal training for Battlefield Salvage. You just have to pick things up as you go along. Swords, armor, arrows, and the bodies, of course. Over the years, Savis Korax has picked up a lot of things. Some of them have made him decent money, others have brought nothing but trouble. But it's a living and somebody has to deal with the dead. Something else that Savis has buried is his past. Unfortunately, he didn't quite succeed. Not too much information in the synopsis, but it sounds interesting. The tone of it sounds like it may be a little bit more lighthearted, but obviously dealing with someone who just deals with the dead and seems to loot corpses. <laughs> and it's always an interesting thing to see a character whose past they thought they got away from and it catches up to them. So I think this one sounds like it could be a lot of fun and if it is good, not much wait to get the sequels and finish up this series. KJ Parker does have quite a few other books out, although I've never read any of them so I don't really know what his writing style actually is, but it sounds interesting. Then coming out on October 10th is the sci-fi The Jinbot of Shandaport by Samet Basu. Shandaport was supposed to be a gateway to the stars, but the city is sinking and its colonist rulers aren't helping anyone but themselves. Lena, a daughter of failed revolutionaries, has no desire to escape Shandaport. She loves her city and would do anything to save its people. This, in fact, is the plan for her life, made before she was even born. Her brother Bador is a small monkey bot with a big attitude and bigger ambitions. He wants a chance to leave this dead-end planet and explore the universe on his own terms. But that would mean abandoning the family he loves, even if they do take him for granted. When Shannaport's resident tech billionaire coerces Lena into retrieving a powerful artifact rumored to be able to sh reshape reality, forces from before their time begin coalescing around the siblings. And when you throw in a piece of sentient off-world tech with the ability to grant three wishes into the mix, none of the city's powers will know what hit them. Sounds like an interesting mix of tech. It's obviously a sci-fi book, so it's going to be more sci-fi leaning, but there does seem to be some magic. The incorporation of Jin and the granting of wishes. I also like that this is centering around a sibling relationship of two siblings who care about one another but want very different things for very different reasons. So I think this sounds like it'll be an interesting story of siblings and family, but also with some magic and technology. Also coming out on October 10th is the fairy tale story, The Bone Roots by Gabriella Houston. 
a tale of two mothers, each desperate to protect her child, but only one of them can succeed and only one of them knows why. It's been 40 years since the fox took Kata's brother. Though she ran and kept herself hidden, she fears it may be stalking her again, this time to steal her daughter. Every year, Vedma Kata gives thanks to the bone roots, those that belong to the childbearing tree who gave Kata her desperately wanted baby, Secha. Kata lives her life in service of the bone roots and the goddess Semya, but they cannot keep her daughter safe. Not when such as emerging powers, both mysterious and brutish, threaten to out her for who she truly is. Meanwhile, Sladiana, a rich noblewoman, has spent the last 15 years searching for her missing daughter, Luba. She was snatched from their home by the fox thief, and Sladiana has heard nothing from her since. But the one who gave Sladiana her daughter has come within her grasp once again, and so has the secret of her daughter's fate. This is again another story focusing around family, which I think is really interesting. I don't read a lot of books that center around a family or have a lot of relatives present. Those are really like fairy tales and this sounds like it's going to be dark and mysterious as these women try and figure out what happened to their children or what might happen to their children. And coming out on October 17th is Lilith by Nikki Marmory. Before Eve, there was Lilith. Lilith and Adam are equal and happy in the Garden of Eden, until Adam decides Lilith should submit to his will and lie beneath him. She refuses and is banished forever from paradise. Demonized and sidelined, Lilith watches in fury as God creates Eve, the woman who accepts her submission. But Lilith has a secret. She has already tasted the fruit of the Tree of Knowledge. Endowed with wisdom, she knows why Asherah, God's wife and equal, the Queen of Heaven, is missing. Lilith has a plan. She will rescue Eve, find Asherah, restore balance to the world, and regain her rightful place in paradise. Lilith's quest for justice drives her throughout history, from the ziggurats of ancient Sumer to the court of Israel's Queen Jezebel to the side of a radical preacher in Roman Judea. Noah's wife Nerea, Jezebel, and Mary Magdalene all play their part in Lilith's enlightenment. In the modern age, she observes the catastrophic consequences of a world built on inequality. Lilith finally understands what must be done to correct the wrong done to women and all humankind at the beginning of time. So this, of course, is a retelling of the story of Lilith, who in the story of Adam and Eve, Lilith was Adam's first wife, and then she was basically replaced by Eve. I don't think I've ever really seen any type of religious-based retellings like this, so I think this could be really interesting to see. Also coming out on October 17th is These Burning Stars by Bethany Jacobs. This is a space opera. On a dusty backwater planet, occasional thief Jin Ironway has gotten her hands on the score of a lifetime, a secret that could raise the kingdom, the ruling power of the galaxy. A star system away, preternaturally stoic, Trono and brilliant hothead Essek, the two most brutal clerics of the kingdom, are tasked with hunting Jun down. In tracking all three across the stars is a ghost from their shared past known only as a six. But what six wants is anyone's guess. It's a game of manipulation and betrayal that could destroy them all, and they have no choice but to see it through. So we've got a few characters to follow in this one, all kind of chasing something down or each other down for different reasons that I imagine we'll only discover as the story unfolds. Sounds like it could have a lot of intrigue to it. And this is also a debut, which is something that I particularly like reading. I like seeing new authors and what their first work they decided to pour themselves into is. So those are six of the books coming out in October, the ones that I'm most interested in checking out when they release. Let me know if you're looking forward to any of these or if there's any other books that you're anticipating. I'd love to hear about those. That's all for me today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.